Yeah, I mean, just credit to uh, you know, all the respect in the world for Tufts. They've been on an amazing run, obviously, and uh, they played great tonight. It was, I thought it was a great college soccer game. I thought um, over the course of the year, you know, there's 400 and some odd teams in Division Three. I thought us and Tufts were the best two teams, and you know, the final was a was a good hard hard fought fought match, and they made two plays. Um, and Coach Shapiro, he's done an amazing job. I mean, like, um, you know, all the accolades that, that'll go their way, they deserve, you know, they're a great program and um, we've had a great rivalry with them. And um, as much as I'm bummed for us, I'm happy for them, uh, you know, and, and uh, you know, certainly a deserving uh, champion and to the victors go the spoils. So uh, we'll tip our cap and um, hope they enjoy it. Calder, team captain this year. Um, can you talk a little bit just about the program and what being a part of Amherst Soccer means to you? Yeah, I mean, that's a, that's a big question. I think uh, there's so much that goes into the program and, and so much um, tradition and history, and, and it's hard to kind of put into words what it means to me and what it means to these guys and what it means to alumni. Just what it means to be part of Amherst Soccer. It's... it's getting the details right, working as hard as you can for 90 minutes. It's being out of your way um, or going out of your way to be polite and, and to be to be good people. It's not all about soccer, um, and I think that translates well for us. I think this year we had a really good group of guys that, that wanted to work together and really bonded, and we were able to, to go as long as we could. Um, I'm fortunate about the result, but I wouldn't want to do it with anyone, and I'm just so proud of this team. and to be a part of Amherst and so, so happy. We had so much support from alums and it was great. Uh, Ding, obviously not the result you wanted today, but you had some really good memories throughout the year. What's been, it sticks on your mind as like a top, you know, play or top memory and just sharing with this team? Jeez, that's a tough one too. Um, I wouldn't say that there's one that sticks out. I'm just really glad that, you know, when the culture of the team is the best part of the team, um, you know, there isn't really one moment that sticks out. So the entire year, the kind of idea of this being our family, um, that in itself is, is, is the best moment that I could have asked for. And, um, yeah, just, just all of it. Being with, being with the guys, um, support from the coaches, the alumni, and just being a part of something that's bigger than, you know, the 11 guys on the pitch or the 24 guys on the team. Um, means a lot to be a part of that. And then uh, 2016 Mascot champion uh, made the national runner-up this year. You guys have a talented team. Now that your collegiate career is ending, Don Purple and White, what kind of would you want to say to the underclassmen, kind of going forward? You know, what to expect, what to look forward to, what to embrace. Yeah, I mean, we, we said it to them after the game. Just. Uh, Keep your heads up, really, and uh, you know, take the feelings that you uh, that you're feeling right now after this loss, and and remember them, and uh, use them as much as you can going forward, because you really don't want to um, feel like there were details that could have gone another way that would have changed the result, um, and just to keep the traditions that you know have been instilled in us that we've. Um, learned from our upperclassmen when we were younger, and then we taught to these younger guys um, to keep that going, but, you know, leave your mark on the program as well. That was something that was really important to us and that I hope they can do, and I know I know they will, these younger guys, so. And then, Justin, so many... Oh, I'm sorry, Tully. <laughs> no, I think he got it spot on. Um, take, take this loss, take the feelings, come back next year and just go on another run. That's all you can ask for, and we'll be there supporting them. We'll join that alumni group that's always uh, so supportive of us. So it's good. And then, Justin, so many records broken this year. Single season uh, program wins. You've had multiple breaks. Single season assist records. Dane Lynn with 11 this year. Uh, single season goal records by Herman. Picking up your 200th win yesterday. Um, can you just talk about, you know, how this season went for you? What worked? Kind of what it feels like to have accomplished a lot of those feats along the way? Yeah, I mean, I, I think we talked in the pregame. Like, every, I don't know if people have probably seen the movie The Truman Show, 
where where Jim Carrey goes through the whole thing and everything's staged around him. Like coaching this team, I feel like my life is at the Truman Show. The support that I have from our athletic department, Don Falstick, our athletic director, everybody at Amherst College, these guys, like my job is to get to be the soccer coach. It's ridiculous. And so, and this year was like just a culmination of all that. Like I just felt, I was so, it was just an amazing team to be around. And listen, like all these programs out there and teams and all that, they talk about like, oh, it's about the journey and all this stuff. And then they lose a game. And it's the, like, I could, I mean, I would have loved to have won tonight, right? But like, we didn't win a soccer game. Like, it is about the journey for us. It's about all the little moments that are, that are in between the goals and the records and all that. Like, that's, I don't know, stats and, and whatever. Like, just to be around these guys on the bus and, you know, at practice, like, I just seen them all the time. I, I, I hate the fact that I'm going to have to coach a game without Dane or Cutler or Will or Jimmy next year. Um, so, you know, like, I, the, the best line that I ever heard from a coaching advice, right, is somebody uh, said, recruit players you're willing to lose with, right? And listen, I am disappointed. It's, it's human nature to be disappointed. But, like, I am going to sleep like a baby tonight. Like, we, the only thing we ask the guys in the pregame is try your hardest and get, we fought, and it was inspiring to see our fight all the way to the last whistle. And so we didn't win a soccer game. Sometimes life doesn't go your way, right? Losing is part of life. And so, um, you know, I just am so proud of this group, and, you know, I'll sleep well tonight and, and um you know, you have uptown problems if you lose in the national final, right? Like, we've had an amazing year. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm so proud of this group. Um, and I love them. We, to we talked about that. And, uh, you know, it's a, a soccer game. But what doesn't end is Amherst soccer. That goes on. And those alumni out there, that was amazing tonight. <laughs> um, so, you know, we'll keep it rolling. Season, Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, we're so excited uh, to win another championship with, with this group of guys who fought really hard this year to, to get us back to this place uh, against some like kind of outrageous expectations. So it was a, it was a, it sounds silly, but it was a challenging year, and we were absolutely thrilled to be at this place as NESCAC champions, as national champions, as defending national champions. Um, it was an incredibly hard fought game. I mean, Amherst has become such a a, a challenging rivalry and uh, you know two teams playing really good soccer from the same area you know it's just hard um, but they're they fought really hard they played great brand of soccer today and and credit to them but we we couldn't be happier to be in these chairs I couldn't be happier to be sitting next to these two guys I'm so proud of my group and and, and thrilled to be sitting here with a trophy um, yeah I was just gonna ask for the student athletes I mean what's like to be a champion, not only that, but get to be a conference rival and get a little revenge against someone who beat you earlier in the season. Yeah, I mean, it's it's special. Um, you know, I <laughs> potentially didn't think that we would be in these uh, in these seats, you know, midway through our season when we lost to those guys, but it was great to get a second shot at them. Um, they played fantastic today. Um, yeah, just really excited. I can't really describe it with words right now. <laughs> yeah, kind of like what he said, I mean, I think the biggest thing was that, like in the beginning or in the mid middle of the season, um, we really wanted to come and play them again. We felt that we were uh, a little bit not too. I, I don't know how to explain it. I don't know how to explain it right now. <laughs> um, but we we wanted we wanted another, we wanted another shot at them, and we knew going into the tournament we were on the uh, different sides of the bracket. We wanted them, um, and we were we were excited to get them again and get another shot at them. <laughs> A <clears throat> uh, question for Coach, just pretty physical game overall, what, I think 19 and 13 fouls, so 32 overall. Um, is that something that you guys wanted to come in? Did you want to disrupt their play and maybe be a little bit more physical, or is that just how it played out? No, that's how it played out. Um, you know, I, the NESCAC games in general tend to be pretty physical, and I, and I think with that big throw-in and all the set pieces that sort of come into play from it, um, there is a lot of physicality. I would actually would have said I would rather have a lower foul count than them because I think the ball's on the field more for us, and I think if it's a passing game, it probably suits us a little better than 
than them. But um, credit them, they were first to, first to a lot of balls. They were aggressive. We were reactive at times, and then we committed more fouls, giving them some tough situations. But uh, I thought we saw the game out effectively. We got behind it. We didn't give them many good looks. Our goalkeeper made the plays he needed to make, and, and we saw it out. The first goal was going to be important, and maybe that led to some of that, but uh, it was not by design. Because uh, this is a team that you guys see regularly, I want to see if you just wanted to comment on Amherst and the season that they've had. Uh, it's an unbelievable year, you know, and, and, and we've been fighting each other for the top of the league for you know, five, six, seven years now. I, I wish I, maybe that's generous for us. Um, but they were the sort of standard in New England, and we've, we've kind of come up behind them and, and tried to give them a good push, and now we're fighting each other to be that top team, and, and uh, we're thrilled to be able to get this one over them, you know. Uh, but uh, they're an excellent, excellent rival. They're they're there every year, and we know, you know, whatever the date is next fall, it's going to be another battle. Uh, for the student athletes, just what are you going to remember most about this team? Last game that they're all going to be playing together, and you have to end it. Only team to end the season on a win. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty good. I like how that sounds. <laughs> feels feels pretty good. I mean, this is this is a pretty special group for us. I think. You know, going into the year, we had pretty high expectations um, for ourselves, and I think at parts during the season, those expect expectations weighed on us a little bit. Um, but you know, getting the NESCAC championship and then also the NCAA championship is you know something I'll never forget going forward. <laughs> Once I got a nine to five. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I'd say the exact same thing. But I think the one thing that I liked a lot about this team was uh, so many people played a part in it. I mean. I mean, look. I mean, you just look at how many people we subbed in the last two games and throughout the whole season. I think everyone has played a huge part, and I think that was like the biggest thing. Seeing everyone's reaction as a collective at the end of the game was something really special. Um, that's all I did. So by the numbers, twenty wins, a school record, <clears throat> NESCAC champs, NCAA champs. Uh, it's arguably the best season in the history of the program when you put all that stuff together. Coach, can you talk a little bit about the char characteristics of the team that? Made that possible. Um, you know, I think th this team was special in that it was, you know, it, it had veteran leadership, it had depth, it had quality of upperclassmen, it had the ability to win games in different ways. This this is the first team I've had that we could actually go down late and go get a win. Um, you know, we won so many games in so many different ways, and and we had so much danger coming from so many different players. Um, you know, it didn't have to be Gavin. It didn't have to be Joe. It could, it could be someone in the second layer that that brought real quality. And you know, Alex Raston, I think, is our leading goal scorer, and he's doesn't doesn't start. Maybe that's bad coaching. I'll think about that in the future. <laughs> um, but I just think the group is 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 special in, in the depth, the the athleticism, the soccer quality. You know, the ability to do things in different ways, and and guys stepping up. You know, like you lo you lost an all region player before the NCAA tournament, and you're able to absorb that. That's an incredible testament to the depth uh, that we have. And, and that's guys who, you know, like we'll graduate with some really good guys. Gavin's going to be gone next year, but, you know, my guess is there's going to be someone pretty good who don't, not a lot of people know who's going to step in and, and be ready to help us, again, keep those standards really high. And, and he's taught those guys how to handle themselves and, 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 and be prepared for the next future. So I'm thrilled with, with the quality of this team. I think, you know, the standards just keep continuing to get higher and higher feel badly for the next group's <laughs> level of expectations. Um, but we just want to continue to play our brand of soccer, work really hard for each other, you know, love each other, and, and, and sell out out there. You know, and, and if we continue that, hopefully we'll continue to have something like the success we've been able to generate in the last few years. And Gavin, when you showed up on campus in 2016, you couldn't have thought that you were going to win three national championships. <laughs> but what about the program, even beyond the winning, has been so special now that your four years have completed yeah, I mean, I, I think it's the, the team culture, um, the alumni in the stands. You know, I remember playing with those guys. Those guys, you know, when I came in freshman year, I definitely wasn't the person that I was that I am now. Um, and I think it's a testament to their character that, you know, teaching down to the younger guys and, um, you know, has bettered me. And, you know, now I'm in the position to do that to the younger guys. And I, you know, <laughs> I'm very confident going forward in our, uh, in our younger guys that, you know, didn't get as much of a chance to play on the field. I think... You know, they're more talented than I am. You know, they will lead the program in the future, and I'm just super excited to be a part of it. So.